Okay, this is a quick unboxing video of CRF 50 plastics from Amazon. I got these for around 40 bucks. I think I can do some stuff with them, so we can find out. That's what we got. All right. Here's the seat. It's not bad. It's got a hairnet. As you can see, it sits a little wider and a little softer than the stock. Might be a little bit more comfortable if you're looking for another seat. If you scrape your seat, it's actually a little lighter, I think. The material is a little bit more of a leather, uh, more than a traditional dirt bike seat. This one's got a little bit more of a texture on it. But if you tear your seat or if you need to swap one out, these are pretty cheap. Let's see what else we got. Some side plastics. Not much to bolt on here. But you could, if you want to add to your side of your bike, you can just screw them right on there and finish up your bike. This side's a, obviously a little more of a bump because it had a room for a pipe. But if you want to just tuck that in there and make your bike look a little bit more dirt bikeish, you could get away with that. Let's see what else we got. Here's a cute little number plate. You want to tighten up your wires, hide some wires, you can pop that in there. A little bit of modification or zip ties. If you just want to push those in, it would sit pretty clean in there. And it's very lightweight, so so smart money is just on just wrapping it in there, push your wires in, and a couple of zip ties, and you have a, a clean, more motorcycle look to the front. I might add that soon. So we got side fronts. All this is in one kit too. Yeah, see this sits through here. So if you unmount the rear, slide the rear through first, then you can add on a full bar. And we got a little fender. Yeah, you could just about bolt it right back in place. Let's see what we got underneath here. I got the uh, the fender from Top Peak on here currently. This is real close to the same. It's actually a little shorter, but it's a lot fatter too. So you're going to catch a lot more of that mud up front. And it's got the three and four bolt pattern there. Three pattern. Technically these three would be the ones that would, should be through. Now I don't think I have three notches in the bottom of this uh, KKE, but again, might be something I can get into. I think I have it currently through a through this panel on the bottom, and I could probably push through the center hole and then just use that expanding bolt and swap that on there. I might do that because these look a lot cleaner, and you can get multiple colors too side plastics if you really want to make your bike look a little more fancy you could bolt these on a 
It looks like they had them mounted. Man, I wish those were flush. Can't really pop them out that way. That looks weird. I could almost use this one to, to suck in air if I wanted to mount it on the side. But these might be throwaways because I don't think I'm going to be able to use that, recycle that shape. Almost like that, huh? That does look a little goofy. But if it was on a black side, it might look alright. So yeah, for 50 bucks, for sure I can I can drop in the rear fender guard. I could even modify this. Yeah, it would just about fit in there too. If you were running a smaller tire, you could get away with this on the back too. But it's definitely not going to get in on a 21. You'd probably have to get in on an 18. So close. Again, if you really wanted to mount that, you'd probably have to pop some bolts in there. And I don't know if, if anyone wants to compromise their already compromised bar on the back. But if you want to reduce, a lot of the dirt that comes into your bike. This has got a notch here. Yeah, you could you could cut it here and mount it right to your right to <sighs> Yeah, if you wanted to add protection in the back, it could mount right here. And that's not going to interfere with anything else if you split this. But like any universal kit, it doesn't always work. Let's see what that seat looks like. I was hoping that the that the front flarings would have been pointed inward and give you access, but that's not the case. All right. So these just sit onto the railings right here. It's also a good chance if you need to clean, get under there. It does look like a little bit taller. Mounts should be the same.
try that rear fender too while I got it. Let's see. All right, well, let's put a screw in and see if we like it. Still got a grip handle on the back. to get your bolts through. A lot of extra plastic to figure out. There you go. Should have been buying a tail light. But you know, you buy what you think you need. These universal fits are always a little off. Looks a little wallied out a little bit there. Runs from the other way, just stick yours. Yeah. All right. Just for fitment, just to test it out, let's see. It's obviously got a little bit of give because of where it's at. It sits lower. It's hard to say. It feels a little... The old, the old package feels pretty good. Feels a little bit more... The plastic feels a little bit more better. More better. Man, I hate when I say that. The old plastic feels a little bit more firm. I can see a little bit of light here. It hasn't really shaped in. And I definitely sit lower on it, so this might be a little easier. 
if you're having a problem already with the uh, seat height but dimensions are pretty close to the same I might even run with my original seat just because I'm still I still like the squishiness of this one and I'm a little old school but it doesn't look bad I can figure out the plastics this side you're gonna have a you're definitely gonna have a bow on this side though because because no matter how you look at it Kind of like that. Hold in. Maybe all the way, because it makes it would make more sense for it to lock in all the way. I also shouldn't be doing plastics on a on a cold day. But you know, what else are you gonna do when it's cold? Yeah, you could do it like that. Yeah, this side's gonna bulge because it's expecting a tailpipe. Nothing they can do about that detail. But what do you think? Does that look cooler? Does that help the design at all? Should I just ignore it? probably too small I'm not feeling that part now you might be able to use some of this plastic in in more creative ways to kind of change the design aspects of the bike Or you could simply just chop some of these and use a, a part of it. But you gotta think about, is that gonna hit, interfere with the front end? Pretty close if you're gonna mount on that flat edge right there but you still want to come back this away from the body that's good for mock-up but that's not really good for for off-road purposes so this won't solve my problem of getting air to my controller And it's always something. So I'd say if I was a uh, if I was shopping for this, for sure you could get get away with. For sure you can get away with the rear fender, the seat, the number plate with a couple zip ties. That's from easy, easy to moderate. And then from there, front fender, maybe. Still not sure if it would hit when you land. But if you adopted something in there, you could probably, you could probably get it in here just right on those mounts. And then side plates and front access 
not probably going to be useful. But let me know. Let me know if you like this wing on the back. Wing. Jesus. So let me know. Let me know if it looks good. If that makes sense. And, uh, or should I just send the whole thing back? Let me know in the comments. Just let me know something. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how your day's been. That's all. I'll see you next time. I gotta wash my bike.